is time. It is time to brew your best beer. The 2017 SJ Poor Challenge Gold Sponsors. Bouncer, keeping the dregs out with their inline filter for home brewers. The Brew Bag, simply the best way to brew great beer in your home. Yakima Valley Hops, with over 140 hop varieties available. Omega Yeast Labs, supplying home brewers with high quality yeast. And a special thanks to our silver sponsor, BrewTubers Online Brewers Club. Welcome to the 2017 SJ Pork Challenge. And the first beer that we're going to be drinking tonight it is the Wicked Bitter New England IPA. So it is 99G57K25R. Uh, the only thing it's on is a four and a half, uh, four and a half ABV, and pretty much we know the hops are Columbus, Centennial, and Cascade. So let's go ahead and get this thing popped. Small little hiss. This thing is hazy. Look at this sucker. Wow, it looks, it looks thick. Holy smokes. Not much of a head. It is, man, I can smell something. It smells freaking hoppy holy smokes okay so let's go ahead and get the aroma uh, it is smelling if you can believe this it's kind of smelling like malty kind of it's hoppy it's I can really smell the I think it's a Columbus Wow it is it is Jesus Christ look at that that's excuse my French that is freaking hazy as shit man I'm cursing dang it okay so let's go ahead and get a taste on this cheers okay so it is it is bitter and it's you know what I'm not really getting much of a flavor whatsoever it is it is just bitter I want to let you know that this shouldn't be called wicked bitter it should be palate wrecker because my my palate is wrecked this thing is hoppy oh there goes our fr the fridge So let's go ahead and get, uh, get a quick review on this. Okay, appearance. Well, it looks like a New, Z uh, New England, not New Zealand IPA, New England IPA. It is hazy. It is like just, it is, it, that is a New England style. It looks very much like a New England style. It looks like, I mean, I, I can really, I can just taste the hops. I mean, I think, I think there's, this is just full of freaking hops in it. So, aroma. Uh, it's, it's not, <laughs> I would have to say that it's not the most appealing, uh, aroma on it, but, uh, I was expecting a little bit more with the Cascade. I was expecting Cascade, but, uh, it's, uh, I mean, it's not, it's not, it's not gross or anything like that. So, so let's go ahead and, uh, let's talk about the, the flavor, the flavor. It is bitter. It is freaking punch you in the mouth bitter. So that's what it is. It's just it's bitter all the way through. From the beginning to the end, it's pretty consistent. It's not like overly bitter here or there. And uh what's my what's my last one that I have to talk about? 
Oh, mouthfeel. Uh, it tastes like a mouth of hops. That's what it tastes like. So, uh, overall, I think the the flavor it's just it's just bitter. I mean, it, I I can't taste any malt whatsoever. And I think there's just a slight little off off aroma. But it's not it's not it's not overwhelming bad. But it's just it's it's punch you in the mouth, freaking hops. So there you go, wicked bitta. You are a wicked bitch. That's what you are. I'll see you guys later in the next one. Peace. Okay, SJ4 Challenge 2017. Uh, tonight's beer, or actually it's the second one for the evening, it's called Fox Glass. It's a classic, classic APA with wet hops, bright, delicate hop flavor with a toasted caramel malt backbone, 5.3% alcohol, 30 IBUs. The number is 98N93CharlieC. 89s so let's go ahead not much of a label there so let's go ahead and get this thing popped slight little hiss and here we go very nice looking beer nice and clear look at that that is beautiful you can see me in the middle of it so, uh, yeah, this is a beauty of a beer. Nice head. It's nice st uh, sticking with it. Nice golden, kind of like a, uh, not a, a yellow, but a little bit of caramel color. So let's go ahead. Man, that is a be beautiful. So let's go ahead and get a whiff on this. So we know with the, the hops that we got, or the Columbus, Centennial, and Cascade, the three C's. Okay. Not really getting much of a hop, uh, any kind of aroma on this. It is an APA, right? American Pale Ale. So I'm not really getting any kind of, uh, not even a, not even a multi. Uh, so maybe we'll let it warm up a little bit too. So let's go ahead and get a quick uh, taste on this. Cheers. Oh, nice. Night. It's a classic. I mean, it's not it's not hoppy at all. It's a it's a nice crisp clean taste. No, uh, there's not nothing really off on it, but it's nice crisp and clean. It's not, it doesn't, it doesn't really have much of a, like a hop flavor on it, but so it must be very, uh, very small amounts of hops uh, being used in this. Oh yeah, it's a wet hop too, so. There's a slight, slight little bitterness at the end. Uh, it but it's like right at the end so when you're drinking it, it's a nice quick easy drinker uh, and then you just get that little bit of bitterness uh, right at the end uh, it's not like a, a really kind of like a like a citrusy kind of uh, of a taste at the end but it's a very nice crisp and clean uh, so let's go ahead appearance appearance is freaking awesome uh, still getting the head right back on it nice and clear this is like almost a per perfect beer i mean it's got nice legs it's look at it, it's beautiful beer so aroma not much of aroma not much uh, mu not much at all there's uh something going on uh with it it's it's not a hop uh, aroma it's just like a little bit of a i'm not i'm not i'm not even sure how to uh, describe it but it's not hoppy at all so let's go ahead uh the flavor flavor easy drinker uh bitterness on the end and uh it is uh it's it's e it's an easy drinker so uh can't really taste a lot of the malt i'm just trying to get a little bit of the sweetness it's 
it's uh it's pretty dry uh very light body but it's dry it's really really dry i'm not really getting a lot of the malty sweetness that i was kind of thinking because of the color but uh but still easy drinker uh so body really light uh overall i tell you what it's a pretty it's a pretty easy drinker and i could i could probably drink this all day long so so there you go uh that is uh review number two and we are done for the evening i'll talk to you guys later peace hey everybody it's uh lambert 22 and this is the third beer third third beer for the sj pour challenge 2017 so the number on this one is 93F, oh, let me get this in my glasses here, 93F26B62N, uh, round one uh, ABV is 6.8%, is a pale ale with, uh, with the three C's, that is Columbus Centennial and Cascade, and American Ale Yeast. So let's go ahead and get this thing popped. Nice hiss. Glass off, I need that for this. So let's go ahead and take a look. Nice looking beer. It's a little bit hazy. I still got uh, still got the bottom in there, so I didn't even if it was a bottle conditioned. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Nice color, nice head. Yeah, nice looking beer. Nice tight, uh, tight bubbles on the head. Very clean smelling. I'm not getting a yeasty kind of uh, aroma. Very clean, very clean. So let's go ahead. Uh, let's get a taste on it. Cheers. Very easy drinker. Uh, getting a slight citrusy, a little bit citrusy. A little herbal. I can kind of taste a taste a little bit over carb because as soon as uh, I'm taking a sip, it's like the carbonation is like attacking my tongue. Uh, it's still an easy drinker. Yeah, it's a very nice looking beer. Uh, not very complex. Not much of an aroma. Very easy drinker and pretty much that's all I got for it. So let's go ahead, very uh, very thin on the body. So let's go ahead and go through our score sheet here. Parents, parents, a nice uh, pillowy head. Uh, it's not going away. I think it's a, just a little touch uh, over carbed, uh, but uh, but still pretty, pretty solid. Uh, the aroma, not much of an aroma for uh, pale ale. But I mean, all, I'm, all I have right now is the head here, so it's uh, not overly uh, aromatic. So, uh, so flavor, flavor is pretty solid. Uh, it's a, uh, it's, it's a little bit citrusy. It's a little, it's a little bitey, but a uh, very easy drinker. It doesn't seem like it's a 6.8% beer. But that, that's what's on the label. So. body uh rather rather thin uh but it's a uh, uh, it's a uh, like i said it's a pretty easy drinker but so overall i could probably drink this all night long so so i would say uh at, for a pale ale a little bit over carb but uh it's not taken away from the flavor no off flavors no uh off aroma and uh it's a very solid very solid beer there you go Thanks for the beer. Number is 93F26B62N. And that's it for this one. See you guys later. Peace. 
Okay, I'm back for number two. Number two. So this beer is a four. This is my fourth beer. This is called Foul Play IPA. It's a 7% ABV, uh, 64 IBUs. The brewer is 94B58W. 27W and Green Bell is Brewer's Malt, uh, Crystal 15, Honey added at Flame Out, Cascade Centennial is Columbus, and the yeast is Y yeast 1272. He calls it a, or she, calls it a balanced IPA with a nice dry hop haze. So let's go ahead and get this thing popped. Again, very nice hiss. Get this thing poured. There you go. So look, look at the color. Uh, it's not a typical color. It's a, it's kind of not, it's kind of like brownish. I wasn't expecting this color at all. It is a dark, dark haze. Because it says it's got Brewer's Malt and Crystal 15. I was expecting a lot, lot lighter. So let's go ahead. Uh, I mean, it's a beautiful beer. I was expecting a, a lot lighter. A pillowy top on the uh, the head. Uh, looks, looks pretty nice. It's got a haze, just like you called it. I was expecting a little bit lighter. So let's go ahead and get a whiff on this. Ooh, nice. Nice piney. And uh, it uh, smells pretty, pretty fantastic. No off, uh, no off aroma. So let's go ahead and dig into this one. Cheers. Ooh. Oh yeah. Not overly bitter. Very clean tasting. Very, very light. Uh, what's this? It's six point seven percent. Doesn't taste seven seven percent. Very nice drinker. I mean, it looks like it might be a little overcarb because the head is just sticking with it, but it is, it doesn't taste overcarb. I'm not, uh, it's not attacking my taste buds. Uh, very, uh, very piney. Uh, and uh, pretty, it's pretty, e very easy drinker. I like IPAs. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's very, very solid. So let's go ahead and get a little review on this. Uh, the appearance. Appearance, I, I, was, I don't know what's causing it to be dark. So for an IPA, I'm expecting a lot lighter. This is, and you know, the guy, it's kind of funny. I mean, it's like it's got chocolate in it because it's like, it's like a light brown. Uh, but it's, I mean, it doesn't list it that it's on there. So I, I mean, I kind of have to, I'd have to say that that's one thing I don't like about it. I mean, if it's an IPA, unless you're calling out that it's got a dark, a dark mold in it, but, uh, but anyways, it doesn't taste like it's got a dark mold in it. Uh, so, uh, aroma, uh, very piney, nice, uh, nice hop aroma, uh, and, uh, nothing off on it. And, uh, the, uh, uh, flavor, flavor is pretty fantastic. Uh, you take a sip and, It's pretty much all there at like first sip. It's not bitter. It, it gets to you right around about about one third away into the swallow, and then it tastes tastes bitter going down, and it's gone. Not uh, not bad at all. It's it's really good. Uh, body, uh, it's a light to medium. Uh, I like it. Uh, it's it's not it's not overcarbed at all. And overall, this thing is uh, pretty smoking. Uh, Again, I am a hophead, 
uh, and uh, it is a pretty pretty easy easy drinker uh, seven percent it's kind of like a session beer here at the black dog saloon and uh, but it's a uh, it's very good nice job and uh, I'm gonna enjoy drinking this thanks peace okay for the last beer of the night so <laughs> The reason why I'm doing one more, I haven't finished the other two, so I'll finish those a little bit later. But I wanted to get this one in because I believe that this one's going to wreck my palate. So this is a Kettle Sour Mango IPA. So I'm really looking forward to this one. Uh, the number, the brewer is uh, 45B, as in Victor, 5 three Y as in Yankee and six two Z as in Z as in zebra. So 60 IBUs and 7% ABV. Kettle Sour Mango IPA. So let's go ahead and get this thing popped. This is a bit consistent. That's good. Get a pour on this. A uh, slight head, uh, kind of, kind of clear. It's a little bit hazy. Not too, not too bad. Uh, head is pretty, pretty consistent. Nice copper, copper to kind of richer red kind of color, amber. So let's go ahead and uh, get a whip on this. Kind of, it's kind of clean. You can kind of tell that there's a little bit of funk. I don't even know it because it's it's on the thing. So not it's it's not like a yeasty funk it's a just kind of like a clean funk that I mean since I know that there's something there so let's go ahead and get a taste on this carbonation is pretty fantastic on this colors a little bit uh, like hazy dark but let's go ahead and get a taste cheers Well, we got the three C's. It's kind of tasting a little uh, like root. I can kind of, it's like, a, it's not like a true sour. I mean, it's not like a, a real sour. I mean, it's kettle sour, but it's it's not like hit you in the face. But I, I'm getting a little bit of like a grainy kind of, uh, it's, I, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a, I wouldn't say it's like, like a vegetable kind of like thing. I mean, I know they're supposed to be a little funk. That's a, that's that's why it's a little bit hard to grade uh, these sour beers because it is. Uh, I'm not a sour drinker. That's one. Uh, but uh, anyways, I mean, and it's not like a t it's not like punch you in the face sour. Which we which we had uh, last year, but it's a uh, it's not bad, but it tastes it tastes kind of rooty. I don't, I don't know if that's the right word. Earthy, earthy. I think I guess it's earthy. It's not overly bitter. Me, that's what I'm getting. I may am getting a little bit of the bitter bitterness on it, but it's uh, it tastes it tastes like green. Uh, I might have to I might have to dive in into this a little bit more. So, anyways, let's go ahead and get a grade on this. Uh, appearance, it's pretty smoking hot. I mean, uh, a little hazy. Uh, carb is uh, pretty fantastic. Uh, color, 
is uh, looks like a beer, uh, except for the haziness. Aroma doesn't taste hoppy. It's a kettle sour, so it, it smells a little bit sour. Uh, let's go ahead with the flavor. Flavor is uh, it's a it's kind of a weird it's kind of a weird bitterness hoppy kind of thing. Uh, it's it's a uh, I mean, it's pretty easy drinking, uh, and that's that's good for me because I'm not a big sour fan, and I could probably drink a whole pint of this, maybe one pint. Well, looks like I'm going to. So, uh, uh, pretty good uh, in body. It's a, a little bit lighter, lighter to medium. Uh, the carbonation is uh, pretty high, so it's getting it. Uh, but overall. I would say it's a pretty uh, easy drinker, like I said, uh, for a 60 IBU kettle sour. Uh, I think, I don't know, I mean, I don't have that much experience with uh, kettle sours. I was, I was expecting a little bit more bitter, but I don't, I'm, I'm not minding it's not more bitter because, or not bitter, sour, sour, because it's not really uh, bitter at all. So anyways, uh, nice job. Uh, I don't know. I mean, this is this is one this is one of the best reasons about doing the SJ4 challenge is uh, you're getting taste beers that you wouldn't you wouldn't really want to think about either ordering for one or uh, actually making yourself. You have someone else make it, and then your taste is like, I can make that. I like it. I like it, and I'll make it. Not to say I'm going to make a kale sour. Not saying that. No. no. So anyways, I'll just, I'll just stay in the SJ4 challenge and I'll get sours over here. So anyways, I'm out of here. Good night. I'll see you guys tomorrow night. Uh, I got my last three or four. I don't even know how many I got. So anyways, tomorrow night. Peace. Okay, it's day three. Three of uh, my SJ4 challenge 2017 tasting first round, the pawn round. So today, uh, we're going to start it off with Frankenstein's Pawn. It is, the brewer is 38P45E62X, and it's a strong ale and unorthodox strong ale cobbled together and given life in a brew kettle. So, as you can see, like there's a little Frankenstein on it. So let's go ahead and get this thing popped. Ooh, slight hiss, not much of a hiss there. Let's see if we got a, if we got some carb on this. Carb is uh, lacking on this one, as you can see. Trying to get it. Yep, the carb is carb is kind of missing on this one. So let's go ahead, get a whiff on this. Hmm. Smells a uh, slight yeast. I'm not get I'm not getting much of a malt. I'm not getting a hop. Very, very, very faint. So let's go ahead and get a taste on this. Cheers. Ooh. Nice and strong. It's got an itch. Nice, strong, malty flavor. Can't really taste hops at all. Very, uh, very uh, like silky. It's uh, uh, it, it is a, uh, it is lower in carb, so I'm not getting it to. Uh, it's not helping me with the body, so it's uh, kind of late body. But it's very slick, it's slick in the, in the taste.
but you can uh, you can really taste uh, the malts on it. It's not like a little a roasty malt. It's a uh, just kind of like a like an earthy earthy malt. So it's not really a lot of flavor a flavor to it. I mean, it's it's malty, but I'm not getting like an, uh, a characteristic of of a like a hop or or anything. But it, I mean, it's it's like it's very sweet. It's like the the hops. It's very very malty, so it's very sweet. So there you have it. Uh, or actually, I'm not done with it yet. So appearance, uh, lacking on the uh, it's lacking on the carb. Uh, there's no head, uh, no lifeline on it. Uh, the uh, uh, the uh, it's pretty clear uh, for a darker beer. A little bit hazy, but uh, but it's pretty it's pretty clear for a darker. And uh, so the aroma as it warms up, it's just kind of clean, slight little slight little yeasty, uh, kind of uh, you know kind of like a little funk. And then uh, the flavor, uh, the flavor is very malty, very sweet. Uh, I'm not sure uh, how much uh, hops were used in this, but I, it's pretty much all like crisp, crisp, clean, and very sweet. Yep. And then uh, uh, body, very light body, uh, very silky. Uh, if it, if it, I think if it would have been carved up a little bit more, it would have got you got would have gotten uh, more body on it, uh, or it would have. Probably would have helped out with the uh, with the flavor just a little bit, just because of uh, you know it's helping you uh, take it down. That's what we're expecting it. So overall, a uh, pretty easy drinker. Uh, it's sweet and sweet and uh, just a little bit under carb. So I would say uh, I would like to have this uh, carved up. And uh, there you have it, carved up. And I think it'd be a, a totally different beer. A little bit more, a little bit more hop. I'm a hophead, so. So, anyways, there you go. Thanks for the brewer. Cheers. And we're back with uh, number two for the evening. So this one is called uh, Killer Pawn, and uh, it's a nice little label. It says "Yield me to or yield the board to me." Four seven Z nine five Victor. 73Z as in zebra. So uh, it's a porter, and uh, that's about all I got. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead. This is the only uh, PET bottle that we got. So let's go ahead and get this thing poured. Ah, nice little hiss. Ooh, 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 ooh. A little bit carved, a little bit carved. <laughs> Ooh, I wasn't expecting that. So, okay. So, appearance, it's a little over carved. But, uh, so let's go ahead and we'll look at that. And I happen to have another glass here. Bam! So I'll pour the next one a little bit slower. I wasn't expecting that. So let's go ahead and uh, get this thing poured. There you go. So, not as heady as the first one. So let's go ahead and uh, get a look at it. So, as you can kind of tell, it is a little bit overcarved. Uh, it'll settle down here, hopefully, in a second here, so I can drink it. Uh, but uh, nice, nice head. Uh, you can kind of see the cascading bubbles going up the side. I think I can see them in the back here. Uh, porter, nice and uh, it's a nice, uh, it's a lighter, it's a lighter style uh, porter. Uh, it's uh, kind of looks like a dark brown, and uh, carb, 
I don't think it's really clear. It's, it's actually kind of later. So anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get a whiff on the aroma. Okay. I'm getting a little bit of a hop characteristic, uh, kind of like a, a piney, but I'm also getting like a little bit of a, a yeasty kind of like, I think it's just because it might be over carb. So if, uh, I'm, I'm just getting that. Okay. So let's go ahead, uh, and, uh, let's get a taste on this. Cheers. Oh, very, it's very, it's very light for a porter that, that I, uh, that I'm uh, familiar with. It's uh, uh, a little, little, as you can kind of see, it's a little bit over carb. So I'm kind of, it's kind of like a biting at your tongue as, as you're drinking it. Kind of hoppy though. I'm getting, uh. I'm getting a clean, kind of a clean uh, hop from a, I'm not getting really the Cascade on it. I'm, it's kind of like the Centennial. Uh, it's not, it's not piney as you would get with uh, the Columbus. It's kind of, it's, uh, it's, it's very, very, uh, very good tasting. Again, I'm a bad describer of, of the taste. I just wish I could uh, do it a little bit better, but uh, uh, except for it being over carb, this, this thing's uh, actually a pretty easy drinker. So uh, let's go ahead and go over uh, over uh, my notes. Well, my notes in my head, and I'm going to write them down. Okay, so uh, ninety four seven Z nine five Victor seven three Z. So the uh, appearance. It's a little over carb, so it's going to take a little bit off on that. Uh, uh, it is, uh, I mean, it's a nice head. Uh, the uh, it's very light in color, uh, but it's uh, not. I mean, not bad looking beer. So uh, aroma, I'm getting. I think I'm getting overwhelmed by the the head, so I'm not really getting much of an aroma. It's a slight light yeast that's what it's kind of like uh, if you're if you bottle condition I think that's what happens uh, sometimes uh, I'm not not really getting uh, much of a hop now flavor I am getting some hop I am getting uh, the uh, it's a kind of like a spicy not piney it's a uh, kind of citrusy so it's a very very good tasting beer a little bit over carb for uh, kind of like it's attacking your tongue while you're drinking it and uh, but uh, body uh, it's a uh, it's about I'd say it's a light to medium medium body on it uh, overall uh, it's a very good tasting beer uh, I was uh, I was a little worried with the with the high uh, the high carb on it but uh, it doesn't really take away from the flavor uh, it's it's a little bit over carb, but not not too bad. But uh, but it's pretty good beer. So, anyways, thanks to the brewer, and I will see you guys in my last video. Peace. Okay, we're down to the last one. The last one is five seven K two seven X. 24 Z as in zebra totality brown ale. So let's go ahead and get this thing popped. Nice hiss. Very nice head. Nice tight bubbles, brown. Uh, it looks like a brown, and it is a brown, so it's a brown. Nice brown head, nice tan, pillowy. Uh, very beautiful beer. So let's go ahead and get a whiff on this.
very clean not really getting much of a no hop aroma I'm not really even getting a, a malt room so we'll come back to that a little bit later so let's go ahead and get a taste on that cheers very very light you can taste uh, a little bit of uh, a chocolate malt a little bit of uh, roasted barley No hops whatsoever. Very clean, light body. Not too, not too complex. It's a, it's a very solid brown. Very clean tasting. Very clean. Uh, heads coming right back when I try to get it back. This is a pretty, pretty nice beer. Nice, uh, nice legs on it. So let's go ahead and get this. Uh, I mean, this is pretty straightforward. Uh, not over carb. Not. Uh, it's very, very nice looking. So let's go ahead and get appearance. Appearance is uh, smoking. Uh, nice brown. Uh, looks pretty clear. I mean, it's a brat. Yeah, it's pretty clear. It's a nice dark, dark color, uh, but you can still see a little bit of light through it. Uh, the uh, head just comes right back to you, uh, and uh, it's nice. So, so uh, let's go ahead for the aroma. Not, uh, it's a, it's a brown. So, I'm not really supposed to have anything. Uh, I can. I'm not really getting anything on the aroma. Maybe just a little bit of a yeasty kind of. I'm kind of like particular, as you can kind of tell. It's like, but nothing overwhelming. Uh, uh, the taste, the flavor. Uh, it's solid brown. Uh, it's a. Uh, it's a uh, lighter in the chocolate that I'm kind of used to. Uh, but it's a pretty easy, easy drinker. Hops. You can't even tell. You're not really supposed to tell with the hops. I guess for American brown, you're not supposed to anyways, but English brown, you don't. Uh, Mer it does have American hops in it, so you would kind of think that you might be able to get a little bit of hop in it, which I wouldn't mark bad for. So, uh, body, really nice, very light to medium. Carb is perfect. And overall, this is a very, very solid beer. Uh, it is a nice, nice brown and uh very nice so a uh, nice job brewer and i will this is it this is the last one so uh that's it so sj4 challenge uh pawn round is complete and i just have to tally up my scores and send them in i'll see you guys later peace